Antarctica, Antarctica, the most undiscovered continent on Earth, and for very good reasons. But events are now unfolding here that may spell disaster for the rest of the world. Adding the water to the ocean will cause more flooding and we'll need to put up more flood defences and build our cities in a, in a different way because of it. I mean, it's really serious. I think we are going to see some major problems. Uh, we, we are too late by 20 years. Many scientists have actually predicted that there will possibly be a global temperature change of 2 degrees within the next 100 years. Krill are small shrimp-like marine crustaceans. They're the primary food supply of penguins and all other Antarctic animal life. A rise in temperature of even half a degree hinders their ability to reproduce. If the krill move out of the area entirely, these penguins have to find another food source, and most of them won't be able to. It's only the species that are able to adapt that are going to survive. The retreating penguin species are moving to the colder climates down the coast, and individual penguins have begun wandering off to certain death. A phenomenon only recently observed in the past five years. Are we really 20 years too late? Is the ozone hole beyond repair? Isn't there something we can do to change the course of these events? The answer is yes. Thanks to a small but dedicated group of men and women from around the world, we're better able to understand the challenges that face us. The ice is 950 meters thick. If I drill through all the way to the bedrock, I will have recovered ice spanning the last 40,000 years. And this helps us understand all the things that are happening in the climate and the atmosphere. Most of the time, these islands are covered by snow, they're covered by ice, they don't see light. It's very interesting and exciting to see new life growing in places where it's never been previously. This year's ozone hole has actually been quite unusual. It's really quite amazing. The amount of these ozone-destroying substances in the atmosphere is clearly dropping. With the world scientific community racing against the clock, we have to ask ourselves, has an irreversible environmental change begun here? Or can we as a global community work together to save our planet as well as ourselves? This is the Antarctica Challenge.